You guys are a little crooked. I think that's better. Hi you guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am going to be straightening my hair and I thought I would film it for you and show you guys my process for straightening my hair. I already have my new me hair straightener heating up. This is the Fashionista straightener. This is from the FabFitFun, one of the sales. They were on there for like 29 bucks, which is awesome. And I like to use this chaser comb. Once I have my hair combed out, and so it's called a chaser comb because you chase it with the straightener as you move through your sections of hair that you're working on straightening. First, I need to brush my hair out. It has been curly for a couple days, actually. I haven't I washed it day before yesterday, and what I put in it, thinking that I might like to straighten it this time, is I put in styling products that have heat protectant in them already. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna film myself straightening it. I'll give you a little tips and whatnot as I move along. This is a wet brush. I got this at TJ Maxx. I keep hearing about the wet brushes from people all over the place talking about them, so either they're that amazing or they've just been sending a lot of PR out. So I'm just going to finish combing out my hair. You'll see what it looks like once it's all combed out. Always start at the bottom when you want to comb your hair out. So the styling products that I used are the Living Proof Restore Perfecting Spray. All of this stuff, all of the stuff you see me use, practically all of it is stuff that I got in FabFitFun sales. I love FabFitFun. If you're a subscriber of mine, you already know that. So this was $5 in one of those sales. And uh, this is a really awesome lightweight spray and it comes with UV and heat protection in it. It's a lightweight leave-in conditioning spray. And then I topped it off with this TBD Multitasking Styler. This is a styling cream that has also heat protected in it. And that was what I put in my hair after I got out of the shower to get it to do this curly look right here. Again, I've talked about this a couple times. I was really excited about Living Proof and then I learned recently that they sold to Unilever and Unilever is not cruelty free and I'm trying to do this cruelty free thing. I do love their products but if you're doing cruelty free and you care about the parent company being cruelty free then they wouldn't check off all your boxes. But if you're not doing cruelty free they are, the, I love most of their hair products. Check it out! <laughs> So we are going to, oh, that's a great thumbnail, so, so we are going to straighten this. It actually doesn't take me all that long. I don't do the one section by one section, actually. I don't see a lot of people straighten their hair the way I do. I don't have the patience that some people seem to have. So this is definitely hot. It's really important that you realize you don't have to turn your styling tool up to maximum heat. That is really important. Heat protectors are important and you don't need to put this all the way up to 450. It goes up to 450. That is not necessary. And so this is the chaser comb. And what's so awesome is you just go like this. Let me get closer. You just go like this and you pick up some hair with that bottom part, you grab it, and then you run your comb through like this, and you chase it, you chase the comb over your hair with the styling tool. So I'm just gonna get into this now. And this is how I do it. I don't, I just kinda start smoothing my hair out, and I, It'll be better, actually, once I get to the other side. I'm gonna speed through on camera this part. And then I just keep on running it over and my hair will start to lay flatter and flatter. I'll fling this back, just kind of casually like that. I think a big part of it is this chaser comb is such a game changer. I don't see very many people use it very often. Oops. <laughs> 
And then the thinner the amount of hair you have going through the styling tool to minimize potential heat damage, you want to move that sucker over your hair really quickly. You don't want even on 200 degrees, you don't really want to dwell in any spots on your hair. You want to get that sucker through quickly. So I'm gonna do a second pass over the top layer. The top layer of my hair is much curlier than the rest of my hair. I'll put links in the description box below to the chaser comb and to the new me straightener where you can buy it online. Oh my gosh, I'm going grayer and grayer every time I do this. I notice when I wear my hair curly, I can't see it. It's coming along, and I keep doing those quick passes until it gets pretty much smoothed out. So it's not all the way there, but right now I am going to let down the other side, and you're going to get a better view of kind of the way I do this now that I'm doing the side that is toward the camera. I apologize, I wish I had a nice bathroom where I could really move around and angle the camera so that I can get really good shots, but I don't. One day, one day I will. Okay, so you can see how wonderfully fluffy it is. And this is what I do. So here is the chaser comb. Just pick up some hair with that bottom part, comb it through, and then follow it with the straightening tool. You don't want to stay on your hair very long with the straightening tool. Please don't do that to your hair. And that's why I grab big chunks and I do it a few times rather than smaller chunks, doing it slowly. I saw this. I'm subscribed to this YouTuber by the name of Ma Malabu, M I L A B U, and she's really fun. She plays with her hair a lot in her videos. But she did a series once that was really misleading. She threw the scientific method just out the window, and she was talking, she was doing demonstrations about how heat protectants don't work on fake hair using some industrial tool that goes up to like 16, 600 degrees. It was just not accurate as far as what our hair is actually exposed to. And it showed that the heat protectant, your hair burned faster with the heat protectant on it. But it was fake hair using 600 degree power tool of her husband's. It just did not make any sense and I, I left a comment saying I really like your channel and I love a lot of your videos but if anyone is following this advice you are causing some serious damage to some people's hair to not use heat protectant I really love the way the living proof um, TBD the second product that I show you showed you guys in the beginning that one, I really love the way that product makes my hair, hair feel when I straighten it. Not the first day, actually. The first day my hair will feel super like, heavy and kind of weighed down, but then when I wake up the next morning, something magical happens overnight and my hair just feels awesome. First time I used it, I hated it. Like on the other side, I did one pass and then I am going to go ahead and do another pass on the top layer where my hair is curlier and frizzier than anywhere else.
So it's not perfect, it's not as sleek as I want it to be. That is now how my hair is straightened. I'm going to go in and fix like here. It's still got a little bit of a wave here. I'm going to take my mirror and look behind me. I'm going to comb it out all together. And now I'm going to show you guys. So you can see it's not very sleek, but it is straight. I'm going to look in the mirror in the back. So right here, you can see there's a little bit of a wave still. So I'm going to go in and grab that. Yeah, and then I will go in and I will run the flat iron along here some more to fix the really frizzy, um, dry looking ends. And I like to use hair oil there. So you're going to see how that can really, really help. So let's go in and fix those spots. Right here, I really noticed. So I can feel that heaviness from the Living Proof TBD cream that I talked about earlier. It's so strange. I don't know why it feels like that initially after straightening my hair. And then I wake up the next morning and it feels amazing. Now you want to make sure that before you go in and you put any oil in your hair that you are not going to be touching your hair with a heat tool again because you think about frying an egg. You put oil on and it just fries, it literally fries. So you will literally fry your hair if you try to do this with a oil in your hair. I'm still not perfect at the roots. I'm touching it up a little bit more at the roots. So right under the crown of my head, I can see I haven't been able to get it terribly straight. Entirely straight and then you can see I'm just gonna go in like this with my chaser comb pick up that top layer get a good thickish piece So now I am done with the straightener. I am not done with the hairstyle. The hairstyle now involves some oil, like I mentioned, and then sleeping with my hair twisted overnight. The products that are in my hair, both the styling cream and the oil, and perhaps the spray, I don't know if this spray contributes so much to it, will give my hair a nice a nice big wave, like not like waves, but like one nice big smooth wave. Right now it looks kind of dry and straw-like and we are gonna fix that with some oil. I have been using this Marrakesh Argon and Hemp Oil Therapy. I love it, again, I got it from FabFitFun. Don't forget to turn off and unplug your heat tool, which I was just about to and I probably would have hurt myself. So I take the oil and I put in about, I start with about four pumps, but I probably end up putting in about eight. And this makes a huge difference. So you can see it looks kind of straw-like 
not smooth. It's, this it's gonna make it smooth. I remember when I first was straightening my hair and in and experimenting with oil, wondering if the oil would bring the curl back. It does not, if you've been wondering that, it does not bring the curl back. What it does is it takes away that straw-like texture. I honestly have not used a texturizing spray that stands a chance to making my hair look as amazing as putting an oil in. And I am avoiding the roots of my hair. And you're probably wondering, like, oh my gosh, that's a lot of oil. By the time I wake up in the morning, all of the oil will be absorbed into the cuticle. And I will, I will take down my hair, which I will twist up before I go to bed. And it, like I said, it will have that nice wave to it. Okay, so that's how it looks now. I will now just twist it up and all I do, make sure it's nice and combed through. I just run my fingers through it really. And just do this, just twist. And your hair kind of acts like its own curler in that way when you twist it. And I'm just going to wear my hair like this tonight and sleep in it like this tonight. And then I will show you in the morning when I take it down how it kind of tumbles down and it looks really nice. I'll be right back. For me it'll be hours three. It'll be about two seconds. <laughs> okay, so it's actually not the next morning. It's still the same night. It's been a couple of hours. I think that the oil probably had enough time to really absorb into my hair to smooth it out and I can show you the overall effect. So I'm just going to take it out and show you how it looks now. So you can see it does not look nearly as straw-like and it has that nice PC textured look. The oil still needs a little bit of time to absorb in but it's definitely along the lines of how it looks when I wake up in the morning and I can just kind of start to work on teasing it out. Um, but yeah, so this is the final look. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so and say hello in the comments below. I hope that you have a wonderful day and that this was helpful to you and I will see you later I hope. Bye!